One of my favorite memories of cooking with my mom was making date nut bread. Believe it or not, I was the pickiest eater in the world, and I would only eat tuna fish sandwiches or date nut bread with cream cheese, and that was kind of my go-to before or after kindergarten, depending which session I was in. So I thought I'd bring back this great recipe for you. It freezes beautifully, and it's delicious. I bumped it up a little bit by using the black walnuts. They're gonna be a little richer in flavor, and of course, lots of dates. I always have a bowl of different assorted nuts with a cracker out there and dried fruits, certainly like figs and dates. This is a great recipe to use when you have that leftover after the holidays or this makes a great gift that you're bringing to somebody. So stay with me throughout the hour as I bring you a great recipe for homemade date nut bread. So we have our dates that I've just popped the pits out. It's really easy. You don't have to buy pitted dates because they'll be a lot more expensive. So you're going to give them a little bit of a chop because as they're whole, they're a, they're a little bit too big, but they're still so moist. I find that dates, as long as I keep them in plastic wrap really tight, that they'll do pretty well for about an, a month. So we have that part. Now wait and see what I have to do. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna take a cup of boiling water. The boiling water is gonna start to activate the baking soda and that's what we need to get that nice rise but also a good crust. When you're measuring, don't just eye it, kind of bend down a little bit because usually when, if you don't bend down, you're gonna miss about two tablespoons worth of liquid. You know what, that's really important. So we're gonna pour this over the baking soda and the salt and the dates, and we're moistening the dates by doing this. Now what you can do is you can put in a tablespoon of bourbon if you want to. I think it goes really well with it if you add that little flavor of bourbon. So we're gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. Now while that's sitting, we're gonna start on the other part of it, and that is mixing the flours. I always, when I bake, whenever possible, I double the recipe, because then I can have extra to bring over to neighbors or certainly to keep in the freezer for the next time I want some. So we're gonna take the whole wheat flour, very important to have it, and you can buy a smaller bag since you're gonna use double the amount of all-purpose white flour. So another thing you need to do is you need to just take your fork and just move it through there, okay? And get that well incorporated, I like to say, the dry ingredients. And then we have a cup and a half of white sugar. So we'll kind of gently move that around. In a separate bowl, I'll be back to beat the eggs, and then I'll marry all this together, and we'll have a great, great bread going on. Stay with me, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so for 15 minutes, we've had those dry dates that we've pitted, and we have the baking soda and the salt and the boiling water. That's sitting in that. Over here, we have the white flour, the sugar, and the whole wheat flour. Now we're gonna incorporate the vegetable oil and the eggs into the dry mixture. And then we're gonna incorporate these dates that we've started that cooking process, we've started that activation process, I should say. We're gonna have the oven preheated at 350 degrees. Now, I have two smaller loaf pans, but you can certainly get, you can use one pan that's about this size, and you can still get two, they're just not gonna be as high, so I just wanna warn you about that. We're gonna take the liquid, right in there, everything, the dates, everything right in there. And then we're gonna take the black walnuts, about a cup and a half to two cups. You can switch the different nuts around if you wanted to add something like Marcona almonds you could, but I think a traditional date nut bread is definitely with walnuts. And that's the only time, it's kind of funny, it's the only time I'll eat walnuts now but it just, it says my mom all over it, so I love it. So you, you really need to make sure that you mix this well. Now what I have found, a little trick, I think my mom would approve, is I'm gonna grab a little 
Greek yogurt. Whoop, we don't want that plastic in there. Just about a tablespoon or two. That's going to keep the moisture during the baking process, and you really want to keep your eye on this. 50 minutes, you're going to bake it. The toothpick should come out mostly clean, but the key is to make it very moist. The good news is if you've sprayed out your loaf pans well, they, it's not going to stick. As soon as it comes out of the oven, give it two minutes on a cooling rack, and boom, you've got it all set and you're done. So let's get these. Make sure all the mixture is truly incorporated, okay? And then, because that's a lot of people forget, and they get that, you know, get to near the bottom, and there's still some dry ingredients left. I also like that I don't have to use the mixer on this. It's just one less thing that I have to clean. Okay, we're going to fill these up. They're going in the oven, and when we come back, I think it's time for a taste, don't you? Date Nut Bread is on the menu today. Well, here we have it, date nut bread. What's great about this is you can make a toffee sauce for it just by gently browning butter and adding a little agave and brown sugar and cooking that down. And that would make almost like a sticky toffee pudding, but I'm gonna do it my mom's traditional way and I'm gonna just have it like this with a little cream cheese. It's gonna freeze beautifully if you double aluminum foil it put a little note on it, and boom, you have it ready. Now you can get this recipe and so many more, and they'll be up, it should be up in the next 24 hours by going to mysuncoast.com. Click on that dining page. Not only are you gonna get the recipe, you're gonna see so many videos. Click on that, our restaurant partners, and go through and pick out where you might wanna go and dine. So much information, you'll love it. But right now, I'm gonna love on my date nut bread and send it back to you.